What is up guys, I still have a sore throat, but I'm gonna try and finish this for those of you building along with me. Uh, if you notice a bunch of cuts, that's because I need to figure out what exactly I need to be doing. Um, but hopefully I can get all this done by this episode. Uh, so that's how you want the inside to look, I believe. Um, actually that's a way better design. And then in the back goes the back doors for the house. Um, you want to build on this pillar a 4x4, four four, like so, and then you want to build this pillar up 9 blocks, and it's going to cut into the roof, but it is going to look nice in the end, and my computer is lagging out, okay, now it's better, um, really, really, can you stop, thank you. I don't know why my computer lags out when I start recording, but... And then on top of that, you want to make a 2x2, two two, but thankfully that only goes 5 blocks high. And then... What I did for my mansion, this is supposed to be like a chimney kind of thing. Uh, what I did was put some wool, some dark gray wool and some stone. And that was the chimney I made. There's a bunch of ways to make chimneys. Uh, I'm probably going to explore a bunch of ways when I do a design tutorial. Uh, I'll probably include it with the interior design tutorial. Um, but there's a couple different ways. And you can decide for yourself which one you want when I'm done with that. Uh, now we're going to do some windows. Um, one window is going to line up here um, at the edge of this window. You want to go to the top, down one, and then it's going to be four iron blocks ac across. And then looks like six down, which is in keeping with the front that we did before and then glass inside I'm just gonna no, have glass okay and then we want to do the same thing with this edge so you go to the top one down four across six down and then you fill it with glass Okay, um, then you're supposed to have a balcony type deal going on here um, at this height because that is the height of the second floor. Um, and from the looks of it, the way I did the balcony is going to be what you see right now. There's nothing protruding outwards too much but um, I have gates so this is what it's gonna look like and then in the center is the doorway leading to where one of the master one of the main bedrooms would be um, so yeah and we want to mirror this entire thing that we did here on the other side Um, somebody asked me in the comments recently if I was going to do the inside of this mansion. Um, I'm not because it takes a lot of time. I know I built it in like 24 hours um, total time, but it was a lot of trial and error kind of things. And since I did... Wait, does that line up? Yeah. Since I did... Um, the sizing a tiny bit different it's probably going to be more trial and error and I'm sure most people aren't even going to stick around for that kind of stuff um, and I, I want to start my Xbox stuff uh, even though thus far I've been far too lazy um, but I want to get out of that routine kind of have a little bit more motivation right now 
So I'll probably end up doing a Hitman run after this. Um, and then, nope, did that wrong. And then, is that all you need? Yeah, that should be it. And then you surround it by the f iron gates. And then the door. Um, what's next? Now we're going to go here, I believe. And this is where a window is going to be. Um, let me just see the size of this. This one's also 6x4, six 4x6, by four, four by six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 4 across. And it's going to be um, one high off the ground, as you can see. Okay, and this is where a little chimney comes in. It's going to be like a symmetrical window like I like to do. Um, it's going to be a 2x2 two two extending all the way up and through the ledge, through the lip of the, the roof, um, like this. When you see like an inside gap like this, you don't really want anything exposed. So you're going to have to cover that up with like sandstone or something. If that happens to you, I don't know if it's... If there's a part of the house that goes all the way back there. Um, and from this first lip, I'm counting the blocks. It should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how high the iron is going to go. Sorry if there's any lag spikes. Um, and then you want to have the same type of top for the chimney. And then we're going to... Actually, before repeating this process, we're going to build an archway here. Um, you're going to line this side up with this so that when you walk through, um, no glass from the middle is blocked off. So this is going to be the base pillars for your archway. And it should go as high as the roof, I believe. Maybe one block lower. Um, we'll determine that in a second. And then you have to build an arch. It's supposed to go from right underneath the roof. So yeah, I guess that was the correct height. And then you bring it in. And then when this window goes up, the archway also has to go up. So it's going to be... Nope. Something. Yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. So you see, window goes up two blocks there, and the archway goes up two blocks here. And that's how that's supposed to look. Um, and now we're going to just mirror the same on the other side. Probably time lapse this part for you guys. Okay, that should be that. Um, I don't think I mentioned that this archway has to line up with the side of the house, but I think that's kind of obvious. Um, sorry if you didn't know. Okay, we are... Oh no, I have... I did a little design on this pillar, um, because that's what the photos look like in the mansion. So, just follow my lead, basically. Four there. Um... Then leave three blocks, and then you want a 4x4 four four square. No, yeah, 4x4 four four square, it looks like. Just just an indent in the, in the iron. Um, and then two there. And then going up to the next one, four here, um, leaving one like that. 
and then jump two blocks up and then a two by three and then that's that and you have a nice little design so that it looks a little better um, like it has a little bit of detail at least to it and there should be sandstone here but since we didn't do the inside I guess it's not that important um, now we are going to do some back windows here what you want to do is you want to find the center of this place um, the way I usually do that is I just start counting blocks in so one two three four five six seven eight nine and I'll stop at nine or some arbitrary number one two three four five six seven eight nine and then now you know this is the midpoint and then I would mark it with something and then delete this so that's where the mill is um, you want to create let me see where is that go two blocks three blocks up and then do a five block glass line it looks like five uh, and then mirror that on both sides of it so it looks like a rectangle and then you want to bring this one height downwards for the adjacent sides like that so it's like another spaceship window but not exactly the same um, did I even do that one right? Yeah, I just noticed I left the gap here. Um, and then, spanning the entire height of this, you just want to make, you want to go one over and then do two lines of glass. Pretty simple design. This window also looked wavy in, um, in the pictures but can't really replicate that here um, and then there's two doors here well you can move it over one if you want if this is I don't really like doors being on a corner like that but I guess it is kinda nice because there's a corner of two sandstone pillars there um, and now we're going to go do the same thing on the other side and then after that we should be almost completely done with the back so I counted 10 10 should be the midpoint because we did 9 plus 1 and then you have 5 glass and then a little spaceship thing I don't really know what to call that um, and then two lines and that should be that um, I'm gonna do a little pause here to reposition the picture that I have hang on a sec Okay, so now I have a picture of this side of the mansion up on my other screen. It looks like I completely forgot to add iron on this part. Yeah, I guess I stopped at the gigantic pillar over there. Um, so just add iron here. I don't really know how I missed that. To both sides of this. And then now we should be ready to move on. Oh, uh, for this part, I added iron bars here. There's really no point because I didn't know whether or not this was supposed to be a balcony. And if it is, it doesn't really need glass. Um, maybe you could take away glass for this part and have it like a kind of balcony with glass. But I don't know. I just left the design because I thought it was semi cool looking from a distance. Um, this is supposed to be two different heights. There's supposed to be like a little driveway leading downwards here so that you have three garage doors here and three down here, but we're not really doing that, um, for the mansion I'm building right now because it's a flat map, first of all, and we don't really want to go that in detail with it. I'm just showing you how to build the actual house itself. Um, 
So, I'm going to ignore the three garage doors that are supposed to be underneath this. Um, and just build the windows. So you have five by six from the looks of it. In iron. And then you fill in the glass. You can use glass plane panes if you want. I kind of like... I feel like um, glass blocks are a little more secure-ish. I know there was a point where if you used panes, um, it would be like monsters could spawn in your house because your house was open or something. I know they probably fixed that, but ever since then I've never really favored panes. Unless I wanted a brighter looking glass. Uh, my voice is giving out. And you should have three windows um, and one sandstone space in between each of them. And there should be one sandstone space in between the pillar and the first window. I'm trying to rush this a little bit. Okay, um, there should be a doorway. Three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. Double doors here. Um, and what I did was I surrounded them by glass because I had 360 views of the mansion. Um, and there's supposed to be some, where is this? Not here. There's supposed to be some shrubbery here on the side. Um, and over this would be like a balcony looking down to the other garage doors that are supposed to be there. Um, but I didn't really do that. Um, but there's supposed to be like a little walkway leading from the driveway area, parking area here, and you have a walkway leading there if you want some um, perspective on that. Here you need white wool or whatever color you want a garage door to be. Move two blocks over from the the um, the pillar, and it looks like it's five by four. I think and then you add the, like a top layer yeah I think it is and then you add like a top layer on it for a garage door kind of look I know you can do like open garage doors you can do whatever you want one two three four five that's a good um, width for garage doors I guess uh, but since I don't have like a car mod, there's really no point in doing anything fancy with the doors. Although I did do something fancy in the original mansion with, um, like a lever and raising the ground underneath. If you have any idea what I'm talking about from what I did. Um, then it looks like above each I added glass, two lines of glass, horizontal this time that span the width of the doors. What you can also do is you can add like glass here or something because I know garages have that. Or you can make it higher or you can make it one block or whatever you want. Um, and then one more. But this, these two lines of glass were what were in the original mansion so that's why I did it. Okay, that should be that. For the lower part, um, a little artifact here. What I want to do is fix this part that I messed up on before. That's supposed to be not overlapping the uh, the iron. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to do a little perimeter of iron on top of these roofs, um, but it's not supposed to go on top of the outside, it's supposed to be one in. And um, 
I guess I forgot to mention that it's only this part here. Not it doesn't concern this centerpiece here. Um, and then we should move on to the gazebo on top of the roof that does absolutely nothing. I don't really know why it's in the mansion, but it is. What we need to do for this part is find the midpoint of this entire area. Um, hopefully I won't screw it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't know why 9 is my number today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you add blocks to find the center. The center is a two block thing here, so I'll just put doors for whatever reason. And then... Same for the other sides. This, you should... It's a tool to be used when you're trying to find out the center of a, a room. It's really easy. That's 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So that is going to be... Okay, doors are getting a little confusing now. That should be the center of the entire thing because this is the center for this and then I had glass saying this was the center two center pieces for this part kind of confusing if you don't line it up properly but I'm definitely used to it and it looks like it's kind of the center so that's where we're gonna go uh, you can kind of freestyle this part if you really want to um, I'm gonna just move my camera to the gazebo so I can get a better look. Hang on a second. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is build the same exact gazebo that I had on top of mine, my original mansion, even though uh, it wouldn't be perfectly symmetrical here because the actual size of this roof are is different. Um, so... That's eight. Um, it's supposed to be ten wide, so add two here. This is actually looking a little too big. But anyway, ten wide and then I believe nine long. So that's three. I don't know which way is this supposed to go. Let's just make it go this way. That's six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I guess it works out anyway. So that's like a little template for how wide and long your gazebo is supposed to be. And you want to make it build, you want to build it facing the front um, of this place. I guess I'll just try and um, recreate it without too much talking going on. Okay, this is actually kind of simple. Um, facing it, it's four blocks and then four edges on the side. One, two, three, four. And then it's three blocks and then the same four edges. It's um, the three on the side is really the only difference. But you can make whatever kind of um, gazebo thing you want to. So we are going to fill in like a top layer on top of here. And you can make it in keeping with how it looks down there. You can just line it up if you want to. And I think I'm just going to do that. Okay, 
that's that. And then you want to do a layer like inwards uh, here. Actually, I think I made it smaller than that. Sorry, I'm just trying to recreate the one that I had before. Yeah, that's how I did the roof. I just basically shaved one edge off of everything. Um, and then... And then that's how I built upwards. I just made sure there was like one block on all sides, except for this part, because it's four long. So you need two blocks. Um, so we're just gonna fill this in. God, I need a drink. Um, and then I kept the two block thing going and I did the, repeated the same pattern again until it just stopped when I built upwards. So now you have a nice little gazebo thing. Uh, you can cut the top off if you want to to make it flatter. I think I like that better, um, even though I didn't do that the first time. And then there were actually iron bars when I looked, or at least gates around it when I looked at the mansion. Maybe there's a way to get on top of that roof, but I didn't see anything. Um, so I have no idea why it's up there. Thought this part would be a lot harder than it is. Um, now we are going to, since we're like 95% done with this entire thing, there are windows coming out of this roof, coming out of almost every roof actually. Um, and the way you build it, at least these two, the way you build it, um, you want to line it up with the first glass block, then go up to the second um, one from the top. And then you want to pull the, um, the light gray wool outwards. And then you want to go down one for each side. Um, just give me a second. I want to change my camera angle so I get this right. So it looks like the way I did most of these windows is I went down two diagonally. And then I went all the way down. This is how you're supposed to make um, any kind of window coming out of the roof. Or at least that's how I do mine in Minecraft. Um, I don't know whether it needs to be pulled out this much or not. I don't think it does. So I'm going to push it back just one. And what you want to do is fill up the inside. Wait a minute. Nope, I was wrong. It does need to come out one more layer. Sorry about that. You want to fill up the inside um, with iron like that, but don't go any further inside. Um, and then you can break down most of the inside here. And then you put windows. And then that's basically, when you build the second floor, it's going to come out so that you can look outside this window on this um, wing of the house. And then you do the same thing right next to it, but it's going to be like touching um, if you try and do it the same way because this glass lines up with this top block and it's not how I exactly wanted it to be, but it was most accurate, I, I suppose. And then you can have your little tiny rooms in there. Um, so that's what that looks like. I really don't like the way the freaking wall on the roof is looking. It's just blending together too well when you look at it from like the top or something. And then you want to repeat the process here. Okay, we're done with that. No, we're not. We need some glass. Okay. Um, 
This is exactly how I left the front of my mansion. However, there is a little window thing coming out of this part of the roof, and it's kind of a lot bigger than these. Um, but we're gonna... I might end up building that for this tutorial, but we're gonna come back to it. <clears throat> what we need to do now is build five of those protruding windows um, on each side of this mansion uh, for the second floor rooms. So what you need to do is calculate five points on this top layer um, with equal space between them so that the windows are going to be, the rooms are going to be like equal sized. Um, and I'll come back to you in a second with some kind of calculation like that. Okay, so I didn't get like an exact measurement because I think it's a weird numbered um, number of blocks going across. But what I did was I went four away from this top and then put a glass block. Uh, and then I did, I think, eight space gaps. Yeah, I did gaps of eight and then put another one, another gap of eight, put another one, and then I kept it going. I think they're all eight. And I just kept it going, and then in the end, I got five here on this side while the other side had four. I really have no problem with that because it's nothing too big. It's not a really big deal. But you want to create um, the same kind of window. But you can make it like a, a one block thing here. You don't have to make it two. Um, I think you don't have to make it two. I would probably do something like that. I feel like the way I did it in the previous mansion was a little too wide. But maybe you have a different opinion. I don't. I don't know. Oh, that's why it looks too wide. I made it not tall enough. I'm a retard. So this is how it looked in the original. Even though it's still kind of massive. Um, just cut one from the side. Cut one um, out of the length and then... Yeah, that looks perfect, actually. Um, and then keep repeating the procedure for everything else. Sorry, that took so long to get to. I just didn't know how I did it before. These rooms are probably closer together than um, the original. Yeah, they definitely are closer together. But it's no big deal. If you want to correct the closeness, I guess, even though you can design the interior the way you want, just move it over like that. Make it a smaller, a smaller interval. Um, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> but when you're done with it, all you need to do is keep repeating it and repeat it for the other side when you finish this part. Um, probably going to time lapse the rest of this. Okay, I probably messed up the numbering on this side because it didn't exactly seem like the same amount um, of spaces left over, but that's okay. 
Um, sorry, this tutorial is kind of half-assed. I screwed up the measurements of the wings, and then everything went to shit from there. Um, I'm forgetting to do a kind of major part of this. Um, what you're going to do is count seven blocks from a front corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to want to make five iron blocks like that. And then, again, you're going to dig into the roof. This is going to be one of the gigantic smokestacks um, chimneys on the mansion. You can just build on top of the roof, though. You don't have to cut into the lower roof. But you do have to cut into the, um, the roof of this top part. And the size of it is going to be pretty massive. It's going to be a 5x5. Five five. Um... And then it's going to gradually get smaller on top. But this is how it's supposed to start. And you want to make sure there's nothing like left over like that. I'm pretty sure the final copy of my map actually had some leftover crap like that. Um, and then two more. This doesn't have to lead down anywhere. Um, You don't have to make it an actual chimney if you really don't want to. And I didn't. Um, and then I'll tell you how high it needs to be in a second. When I'm done with this crap. Okay, let me count this for a second. Okay, from the lip, just like last time, it's supposed to be nine. So one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the height of the first part of it. And then you have a three by three on top of that. And then that extends six blocks high. And then, before I do all the boring filler stuff, filling in a bunch of this, uh, I'm going to replicate what we have so far on the other side. Remember, it's seven blocks over from the corner, and it digs into the mansion. It's five by five on the base. Okay, now you have two equal-ish, hopefully, pillars, like that. Um, first one extends nine up from the roof, from the lip, um, and then six in a three by three fashion. Uh, and then to add little things on top, I did four iron blocks like that, and then follow the same design as the chimneys over there. So this one actually looks like it has a place for smoke to come out of the stack. And then I did that for the other side as well. Kind of looks like these stacks are a little bit smaller than my original, but I'm pretty sure the measurements are exact. And then you're going to want to do the same thing for the back. However, from the back corners, it's going to be eight blocks. I don't really know why I did eight blocks. I don't know why I didn't keep it the same. I know I had a reason though, but I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go one over. And then you do your five by five.
Okay, this looks like it's going to be my longest episode yet. Um, don't know if I'm going to do that extra front part now. I may just end it a little earlier. Before I do forget what you want to do for the back, the last thing for the back, um, line up these two windows exactly in the back. Just mirror it. So I'm taking this edge here, following it all the way down, and then going one down and then bringing it out and then it should go and it'll line up right up it'll line right up with this uh this pillar hopefully yeah um is that how deep it was i don't think so that should be it just want to double check how far out it extended and you can only see one edge underneath there so it has to be one longer i hope my computer doesn't die because it's running out of memory I need to get a second hard drive for this laptop and then you dig out the center and then everything should line up when you build the second floor um, with everything we've done so far and just remember the second floor has to be three blocks thick uh, not only for your redstone contraptions but also so it lines up with all these windows we're building up here and when this is over I will probably get to work eventually on a general furniture tutorial uh, it'll have like everything you've seen in my mansions televisions and chairs every kind of sofa imaginable really um, it's gonna take me a while to list them all and think of them though <laughs> and then we're gonna repeat it over here Okay, that should be it. Um, this is Montage Way exactly how I built it. Um, this side didn't even have a window. You can do whatever you want for the windows over here. There were no pictures available online for what that looked like. Um, except for this, this effed up part over here. Um, even though it'll line up with the rooms because of how wide apart it is, this is exactly how Montage Way looked. Um, and I guess that is where I'm going to leave it. Um, yep, pretty much everything looks the same. You still have to do all the exterior stuff, but I'm sure you can get most of that from my videos. So I just want to thank all the people that stuck around and endured um, this long, arduous process. Uh, it has been worthwhile for me, though, uh, doing it again. Um, thank you for all the positive support, all the comments. Uh, it really means a lot. But I do apologize that I won't be able to put out an interior design tutorial. However, I hope you will join me for my furniture thing coming out relatively soon. And I will see you guys later.